Today's coronavirus case count, a big jump from yesterday. State says 718 new cases of the virus have been confirmed over the last 24 hours. They also report 15 new deaths, though about half of them, eight of those, came from a review of past vital records. And starting next week, the state will only be publishing coronavirus numbers six days per week. You'll see them Monday through Saturday. The state says that this is being done due to erratic weekend reporting data that is normally far lower than the average number of new cases. Moving forward, both Sunday and Monday numbers will now be reported on Mondays. General Motors has met its obligation and kept its pledge, completing an order to supply ventilators to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. General Motors teamed with Ventec Life Systems to build ventilators in Kokomo, Indiana to help in the COVID-19 pandemic. The facility has delivered 30,000 ventilators and filled the order in 154 days. That's an average of one ventilator built every seven minutes. GM is now turning over full control of the Kokomo plant to Ventec. Also, General Motors CEO Mary Barra will be playing host tomorrow to White House advisor Ivanka Trump. The president's daughter will be at the Warren Tech Center tomorrow to learn about GM's programs for improving technical abilities of GM skilled trade workers and engineers. She'll tour the GM's Technical Learning University there at the facility. In the wake of violent protests, President Trump stopped in Kenosha, Wisconsin today. The city has been, of course, gripped by violence since Jacob Blake, a 29-year-old black man, was shot seven times in the back by a white police officer. Jay Gray in Kenosha tonight with more on the president's visit and the community's response. Hi, Jay. Hey there, good evening, Devin. You know, the devastation of this burned out car dealership is the kind of destruction that President Trump saw firsthand on the ground here today and the kind of scene that invokes fear and anger for so many who live here. Kenosha, battered, burned 